Hi everybody, welcome to the CSU Global Library. I'm going to give you a tour of how to use this website. So the most popular part of the website is this up here. You search all library databases. If you're searching for books or articles or videos, you could just type in a search here and it would search all of our subscription databases at once. You could also click right here where it says advanced search and you could just load this database uh, search engine just as it is. I usually do that so that I can uh, search all the advanced search options. You could turn on peer-reviewed right there if you only want peer-reviewed articles. You could also, within this advanced search link, you could do that as well. This is a video that shows you how to use this search box if you've never used this kind of an article search before. So we get into some more specific links down here. This is searching all of our databases. If you want to go in, into specific databases, here's a list of all the databases alphabetically, A to Z. And you could just look down this list if you know what database you're looking for, or you could type in a search there if you know what, what database you're looking for. Also, this is kind of set up to where if you really know what you're looking for. If you just want to browse the databases by subject to find a database that might be good for you to look on your subject, you can go through here. Again, these databases are all searched up here at once, but sometimes this can be overkill. So if you want to get a little more specific, databases by subject, once this loads here, here they're just arranged by subject. So the other the other list just by A to Z didn't doesn't really give you a lot of guidance as far as if you really don't know what you're looking for right off the bat, you'd have to look through a lot of databases. Here you could look through the different subjects and find the database you're looking for pretty quickly. We'll go back here and then video databases. These are databases that just have videos. We do have some streaming video databases. If you click that link, you get all of those. Ebook databases. Ebooks are a great place to start your research. Uh, Ebooks, they're, they're full text books just online. Not your textbook for your class. Sometimes you might find that, but these are just full books stored online through these databases. Great place to start your research. Sometimes much better than articles if you're just trying to get an overview. This one's my favorite one, the EBSCO ebook collection. How to videos. Uh, this is just filled with videos on how to use library resources, how to do APA citation, advanced searching, business databases. Just all of these tabs here will take you to different uh, types of videos that you might need help with. And those are all made in-house, so they're all specific to our system here. Library handouts. These are some things that might be good to just see a nice sheet on. Here's a sheet on APA references. APA in-text citations, Boolean, advanced search terms, Google terms, and any one of these that you open up. It just brings up a downloadable handout you could print out or download to your computer if you just needed a little help with those. For example, the APA reference sheet. This brings up a cheat sheet that just kind of gives you the most commonly asked for citations. Let's go back here. So. And we have FAQs, Frequently Asked Questions, if you just have some, some basic questions about the library. This will cover those. And individual sessions, if you'd like to set up an individual research session working with the librarian, we can do that very easily. So you would just click on this and you would fill out this form that comes up. And uh, then we would get back in touch with you. Someone would email you back and set up a one-on-one -on -one appointment with you uh, to go over research issues. And the Writing Center. If you click here, this will take you to the Writing Center. The Writing Center, if you need help with writing, if you'd like to set up an appointment with a, a, a tutor to go over your writing, you can do that here. They also have some great APA cite, citing resources here, APA templates, all sorts of great APA and writing help here that you'd find at the Writing Center. And then going down here, this is important. This is my email address here. I'm the library director, Jeff Wall. You can email me directly. I'll always answer your email. Here's my direct phone number. You can call me as well. This is a general library email. If you just kind of need some general help, that's fine too. And 24 seven chat. We have a chat service that you could chat with if you have a basic question. Interlibrary loan. This would be if there's an article or a book chapter that you need from something we don't have access to, you could click interlibrary loan and you could fill out your request and uh, it's there's no charge for it. And within three to five days, you usually would get something sent to you. Just be aware if you use interlibrary loan, it will take a little while for you to get uh, the resources that you're looking for. Locate a journal. If you're looking for a particular journal, you could click here and do a search for a particular journal and it would take you right into the database that has that. Research guides, these are uh, 
kind of like abbreviated forms of the library website put together just for a certain class or a certain subject. If you go in there, you'll find guides to helping you with a certain subject or a certain course. This will take you to the bookstore where you can shop for your textbooks and order those online. And uh, this is the CSU Global homepage, just the general homepage for CSU Global. This is if, if you liked using our old library website, you could click here and the old li library website would come up. If you're more uh, familiar with that, more comfortable with that, you can do that for a while. This won't be forever. We'll be phasing this out eventually, but for right now, uh, we have that available to you too if you liked the old website. And then here's a blog over here. You can click on here for just news updates in the library. So that's a quick that's a quick overview of how you use this uh, library website. Let me know if you have any questions. This is Jeff Wall. I'm the library director. There's my email there. There's my phone number. Don't hesitate to get in touch with me. Okay, thanks a lot. Oh, also this little button on every page that you're on, this will also take you back home. So you could always just close this page to get back home, but if you wanted to go back home from that page, you could click there and it would take you back home. Okay, well, thanks a lot for watching. Let me know if you have any questions. Bye-bye.